Hello, play to earn gamers! This time we're diving into renowned mobile hit going live on Womplay in its iteration for computers. It's Raid Shadow Legends! The visually rich dungeon crawler truly shows all its colors on a bigger screen. But can it compete with other desktop RPGs? In this video, we will take you through gameplay basics and highlight some of the not-so-straight-in-the-face things. Let's go! Raid is a pretty straightforward dungeon crawler RPG. You summon your champions, form a team and then fight enemies in several stages with an occasional boss fight here and there. Every dungeon run consumes energy. To ensure success, you will have champions levels, gear and elements to work with. Using those to reinforce your strength and compensate weaknesses will aid you greatly along the campaign and in other types of battles. You'll begin your first playthrough with a tutorial, so we will leave it to the game to guide you through your first encounter. For now, let's talk about the not-so-evident stuff. First, let's have a look at our map here. You see a portal where you can summon your champions with shards or fragments. The tavern where you can enhance your heroes, add experience, rank stars or ascend them using other champions, brews or skill tomes. Great hall where you can purchase different bonuses and buffs in exchange for arena medals. The guardian ring where you can improve the stats such as defense, attack, speed, or use the duplicates to enhance your heroes. Major PSA Fox. This is a new feature that needs a lot of tuning, so use this with care. It might throw off your boss team balance. The gem mine where you can get extra gems to purchase energy potions, arena tokens, shards, and whatever else from the gem store. Market where you can buy shards and artifacts for silver, and Forge, where you can craft gear with the materials you find in the course of your adventures. Now, many of the things actually require silver in this game. That includes champion summons, unequipping your gear, if you want to keep it, and many other things. You will always get some when finishing a dungeon, but we also recommend checking quests, missions, achievements regularly, and claiming your rewards there. Another major thing, of course, are your champions. It is important to have a well-tuned team, so you will need to keep your champion's stats and skills in mind. Very good support with high health and defense, and a provoking skill with two attackers and a healer, and you're pretty much set for the first two, three stages on the campaign to start you off. And don't forget to upgrade their equipment. I bet you still got one question in mind though. Where to get the shards? Well, there are plenty of ways. You will always get uncommon shards through the course of your campaign. The further along you go, the greater is your chance to receive a shard with a higher rarity. Missions and quests are two very similar concepts, but essentially missions give you shards for more of a story-driven achievements or something that has to do directly with your champions, whereas quests reward you for certain tasks that involve your everyday routine in the game. Dungeons of different kind split by elements or mythical monsters that are the bosses in those dungeons are also pretty good ways of farming shards, as well as other more valuable rewards like scrolls used to upgrade your champion's masteries. Arena chests. After level 12 you will gain access to the common arena and test your skills against other players. In the end of every ranking period, you will get a chest that may contain a shard. Finally, the clan boss raids, where your entire clan tries to defeat one boss with a massive amount of health. Your rewards will be proportionate to how much damage you deal to this boss and, if you did well, you may receive a shard. So as you can see, there are plenty of ways to build your own success story in raid. Our final word of advice. Be careful with the duplicate and unneeded champions. Always make a weighted decision about it. You might regret getting rid of some, 
but there is no reason to start a champion menagerie either. And that was our look at Raid Shadow Legends. Hope you'll enjoy this game! Join our Wombat Gamers Discord server and be on the lookout for more guides and let's plays. And check back on Wombly for more games to play and earn with. Stay playing and slaying everyone! Ciao!